Good evening po. It's Thursday night. Okay, malapit na weekends, guys. So tonight, kagawa po tayo ng banana bread. Let's make some dessert. Kasi marami akong ano eh, marami akong mga extra bananas that I need to get rid of. So sayang naman po, itapon mo. So ito, medyo masyadong hinug na. So ang ginawa ko, I put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna make two batch of this uh, bananas. So ayun, tatlong kailangan natin, tatlong medium or large. Inilagay ko sa sa refrigerator para hindi langawin. Kasi it attracts, you know, uh, pag masyadong hilog na yung banana, it attracts, you know, um, bugs. You, know, you don't want that. And you'll see all these bugs floating in your, you know, uh, house. And you don't want that. That's definitely no, no. Anyway, it, cooking banana bread. You know, so I heated, you know, my oven to 350. So madali lang yung process nito. You don't you don't need to use a blender for this one. So you can use it, you know, you can use your hand. So I know it by heart, but I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you my, you know, I have this little index card that I, you know, once in a while I look to make sure that I get the proper measurement. So let's get cooking, guys. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my pajama. How do you like my outfit? Pajama. So ito yung uh, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Um, Hindi mo na kailangan isip, so it doesn't call for it. But if you want it, you can do that too. And uh, sour cream, half a cup. At saka, minix ko na yung ano, um, baking soda, one teaspoon. And uh, I use three quarter salt. Um, it calls for uh, one teaspoon, but gusto ko ng hindi masyado maalat alat. So I use, I'm using the unsalted butter. I like this, you know, uh, product right here. It's a country rock, unsalted, and it's really soft already. Chaka and the lawang room temperature egg, and my masyadong hinug na banana. It's cold, pero pwede na. And now, pwede na natin mix. Oh, you know what? And one cup of sugar. We're calling for one cup of sugar. I thought I had it already, but it's calling for one half of sugar. Okay, on a separate bowl, ilalagay natin yung um, half a cup of butter or one stick of butter and your uh, half a cup of sugar. Uh, pwede mo palang lagyan ng ayan. Um, we can use, you know, um, chocolate chips or any nuts kung meron ka. Uh, this time, marami akong uh, mga chocolate chips dyan na kailangan ubusin this year. So, gagamitin natin ngayon. Um, Fight kunti lang para hindi masyadong ano, matagis. And I uh, forgot to mention to you na you need one teaspoon of, uh, of vanilla for this recipe. Vanilla is always, you know, um, it's a must para pampabango. Okay, so inaano ko lang ngayon, dinuduro ko lang at saka ihahalo itong ano, uh, sugar. Akala ko masyadong soft na soft na. I mean, pwede na rin, pero um, inahalo ko lang sa sugar. Ngayon, ihahalo ko na yung uh, baking soda and salt sa um, dry ingredients. And then, imimix natin yung uh, butter and sugar pag nahalo na natin. Okay, ihahalo na natin yung uh, eggs natin. We're gonna crack it here. And then, we're gonna add it, you know, one at a time. Like I said, if you have a blender, you can use blender. Or for that matter, you can use a, a larger, you know, a bowl than what I'm using right now. Pero okay na rin to. I guess, can't do anything about it. Okay, pwede alagay na natin yung second egg.
yung purpose nito para matunaw yung ano yung uh, sugar bago mo ihalo sa flour mix then you can add your one teaspoon of vanilla Siguro mga at least uh, five minutes you can do this. And now you're ready to uh, put your your egg mixture to your flour. Do it you know slowly. the remaining of the egg mixture with butter. It's my spatula. Okay, now, pwede na natin ilagay yung sour cream. Sour cream. Pwede itong pangdagdag sa um, anda for this upcoming holidays. Ngayon malapit na mag uh, Thanksgiving and after that Christmas and New Year. Pero hindi naman kami naghahanda pag New Year. So Chris, uh, Thanksgiving and New Year lang. This is actually my uh, my mother-in-law's you know, most requested dessert. So, palagi akong pinapagawa nito. Gusto daw niya yung moist. <laughs> Kaya siguro bala, binap, binibigyan ako maraming bananas. Okay, so now my banana on the separate ball. We're gonna mash our bananas. Just gonna leave it there for now. And look at my banana. Masyadong hinlog na hinlog. Mag mag mas maganda yung pinaka talagang masyadong ano, hinog na hinog parang nakikita mo yung uh, that brown you know, uh, effect ng saging pag luto na yung banana bread so we're gonna dispose that in a garbage disposal kasi pag nilagay ko sa ano yan sa basurahan hindi mo ilalabas yung basura ngayon and it's not good masyadong malabig to eh. Kinuha ko lang sa refrigerator when I got home.
going to use the bigger, you know, um, hand mixer. Okay, and I'm mashing my bananas. Okay, gusto ko yung medyo may chunky pa. Ayoko na masyadong duro. Para talagang malalasahan mo yung banana. Like I said, you know, your chocolate chips are optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. Now, you can mix it. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, pwede na ilagay sa... nine and a quarter inch uh, banana loaf or bread pan. So ito ang gagamitin natin. Lagyan ng ano, papahid ko yung konting ano ng uh, butter para hindi dumikit masyado. Okay. So, dadadagan ko lang ng konting chocolate chips. Tara ko ba? Para hindi masyado matamis. Maybe half a cup. There you go. See that? It's really dense and soft. I can feel it and I can taste it. That this is going to be really soft and yummy. Look at that. They like my sign. Moist banana bread. Okay, let's pop it in the oven and wait until it's done. Put it in the center. There you go. Sara, and let's wait. After 45 minutes, it go. Mainit pa, but it's moist. So magdid the plate pa yan pag medyo uh, na medyo cool down na. So we're gonna let it, you know, completely, you know, cool down. Siguro uh, half an hour, and then we can take it. Take it out of the uh, container.